गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू द नाइनटीन सेशन ऑफ एडवांस फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट दिस इज पद्मावती इंदर की असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम जी एच जी देवनहली टुडे विल कवर इन दिस सेशन सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन वेटेड एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल द आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन इज टू मेक यू एबल टू कैलकुलेट वेटेड एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल In previous session, I have dealt with the concept of weighted average cost of capital, which is also called as composite cost of capital or overall cost of capital. In the name itself, it mentions that overall cost of capital means whatever the company is raising the funds through various sources. The various sources, what I have discussed, is equity share is there. Through preference share, it can raise the funds. Through debentures, it can raise the funds, and also through the retained earnings it can finance its projects so the total combination of all the sources makes the weighted average cost of capital where we are considering the proportion of each source in the total capital that is what is the proportion for example if my uh, the total capital raised is 10 lakh 2 lakh from equity 4 lakh from debt 2 lakh from preference and 2 lakh from retained earnings means here if 2 lakh is the equity 2 lakh divided by total capital that is 10 lakh we will get the proportion of equity in the total capital in the same way we need to find out the debt divided by total debt divided by total capital we will get the weights those weights are multiplied with their respective costs what is the cost of equity if it is 10% Uh, so that is the the weight of equity into ten percent that we will get the total cost of equity uh, average uh, cost of equity. So the total of all these cost divided by total weight we will get the weighted average cost of capital. It is a composite capital. It gives in a single figure. The weighted average cost of capital gives the cost in a single figure, which will tell us. Which give us the direction how to utilize the funds and where, where to invest the where to invest the money so that the outflow which we will get it should be more than the weighted average cost of capital. So we also seen the steps of calculating. That is, first step is to find out the weights. That is the proportion of each source of capital. Then we need to take the cost and then we need to multiply the cost with the weights to find out the Total the product of cost and weight, and then the that product the total should be divided by total weight, where we will get the weighted cost that is the average cost of capital. In today's session, we will see some of the problems based on weighted average cost of capital. The first problem goes like this: A company has on its books the following amounts and specified cost of each type of capital. In first column, they have given what are the source of fund for the per company. Uh, equity share capital, retained earnings, preference share capital, and debt capital. And the amount is mentioned. Equity share capital is six lakh fifty thousand. Retained earnings is two lakh fifty thousand. Preference share capital is one lakh fifty thousand, and debt capital is four lakh fifty thousand. Expected after tax cost. Here all uh, tax uh, cost is considered after tax itself. Equity share capital cost is twenty. Retained earnings twenty percent. Preference share capital fifteen percent, and debt capital is twelve percent. We need to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. So in the first column, the source of fund we need to mention what are the different source. In second column, the amount which is given in the problem itself. In third column, we need to find out the weight. Here our uh, Calculation starts. Uh, the weight is six lakh fifty thousand divided by fifteen lakh. So the proportion is forty three percent. So in hundred rupees, forty three rupees is the equity share capital. Retained earnings two lakh fifty thousand divided by fifteen lakh. It comes to sixteen point six seven percent. And preference share capital fifteen lakh divided by one lakh fifty thousand divided by fifteen lakh. It is ten. Four lakh fifty thousand divided by fifteen lakh is thirty. We got the weights; it should be equal to hundred. Then expected after tax cost is also given in the problem: twenty percent, twenty percent, fifteen, and twelve. Next step is to we need to multiply this proportion with the cost. So this is forty three into twenty is eight sixty six. Sixteen into twenty is three thirty three. Ten into fifteen is one fifty. Thirty into twelve is three sixty. We need to take the total of it. That is seventeen hundred and ten. So weighted average cost of capital formula is summation of x w divided by summation w, where 
xw is the product of cost and proportion and total w is the weights so 1710 divided by 100 is 17.1 percent uh, 1 percent so the average cost of all sources of capital here it is 20 20 15 12 so average is 17.1 percent we'll go to next problem problem number two a company has on its books the following amount and specific cost of each type of capital so source of fund is here equity share capital retained earnings preferential and debt amount is given 10 lakh 4 lakh 4 lakh 8 lakh cost 12 percent 8 percent 5 percent and 5 percent we need to calculate weighted average cost of capital so source of fund is uh, we need to mention here amount we need to mention here that is 10 lakh 4 lakh 4 lakh 8 lakh this is 26 lakh next step is to find out the proportion that is the weight what is the uh, share of uh, equity capital or share of retained earnings in the total capital so uh, 10 lakh divided by 26 lakh is 38 4 lakh divided by 26 lakh is 15 i have rounded here uh, 4 lakh divided by 26 lakh is 15 8 lakh divided by 26 lakh is 32 so expected after tax cost is already given in the problem 12 percent 8 percent 5 percent 5 percent so 38 into 12 in previous problem i have taken 38 into 12 and then we have divided divided by 100 that is total weight here directly we can take 12 percent means 0 0.12 12 divided by 100 is 0 0.12 so 38 into 0 0.12 15 into uh, 0.08 it is uh, it's wrongly been mentioned as 0 0.18 this is 0 0.08 that is 1.2 15 into 5 uh, 5 percent is 0 0.05 it is 0 0.75 38 32 into 5 percent 32 into 0 0.05 is 1.6 so total is 8.11 percent problem number three goes like this a firm has the following capital structure and after tax cost for different sources of funds used. Uh, sources of funds are given here. Amount is given 15 lakh debt, 12 lakh preference shares, 18 lakh equity shares, 15 lakh retained earnings. And after tax cost, 5% debt, 10% preference shares, 12% equity shares and 11% retained earnings. We need to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. So calculation of weighted average cost of capital. We need to mention the source of fund in the first column. In second column, the amount which is given in the problem, 15 lakh, 12 lakh, 18 lakh, 15 lakh, that is 60 lakhs. Proportion is 25. The, how you will get the proportion? We need to divide this debt by the total capital. 15 lakh divided by 60 lakh is 25. 12 lakh divided by 60 lakh is 20. 18 lakh divided by 60 lakh is 30. 15 lakh divided by 60 lakh is 25. So the total is 100. So after tax cost, after tax cost means which is given in the problem 5% debt, 10% preference shares, 12% equity shares and 11% retained earnings. Last column is product we need to take, we need to multiply the proportion with the cost that is uh, 25 into 5, 20 into 10, 30 into 12, 25 into 11, 275. The total comes 960. We need to find the weighted average cost of capital that is formula is summation xw divided by summation w 960 divided by 100 is 9.6 percent so this is about the problems based on weighted average cost of capital thank you